Welcome in, everybody. Okay, this is a first. A Radland first, everybody. Uh, I'm trying to render a video for the start of this stream, and I'm rendering it right now, um, but I rendered it and it came out all fricked up, so I'm trying to render it again. We're going to start the show right at the moment it's done rendering and I'm going to port it in. We're going to end this stream. This stream's just here because you guys might be wondering, like, where's Ratty Boy? Ratty Boy's here. Don't you worry, everybody. Ratty Boy's here. We'll delete this one in the archives. This is just live as hell. Live as hell content. All right, what the hell are we doing here? Uh, let me get that open. All right. So now here we are. We're just uh, sitting in our, you know, you know, we're on our way to the space station. We're still in the shuttlecraft. But the show hasn't begun yet. Oh, man, it's so frustrating. I haven't rendered anything in, like, a month, I think. And all the settings are just like, eh, we're not going to work anymore. <sighs> I think it was trying to render at 4K or something, even though I'm telling it to export at 1920. I don't know how this crap goes. Hey, King, you rascal! During this, our very most live uh, stream ever. This one's not going in the archive, D-King. Almost at our one year. Almost at our one year. Rattle a swizzler, rattle a swizzler, rattle a swizzler, rattle a swizzler, rattle a swizzler. You know, you're one month away from the golden couples. I don't know if you've seen it, D-King. Uh, we haven't done a golden couples in a long time. Oh, man, I'm excited. I got to make sure that's all loaded up. Uh, your emote is going to change, buddy. You're going to be gold. Ah, that's great. So, D-King, we're just uh, hosing around right now. I'm trying to render a video for the start of the show. I made, well, I generated all this art. I generated all this art and generated all this music just for one stupid inside joke. And I'm not going to let that inside joke disappear. I spent all the, well, we're going to get into this. I'm like a comedian that has to do two sets in one night. Um, I had to, I spent all day, I'll, we'll hear about it again, trust me. I just spent all day uh, building Baby Boy Rat a basketball night. Shorty, get in here, buddy. Uh, and god dang, my fingers are raw. And you know what? I earned that uh, home improvement theme song, which was blaring at full volume. Simon, get the hell in here, buddy. We're just doing a pre, 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 pre stream. I'm going to end this stream in just a second uh, because we're going to start the show over again so that in the archive it hits hard and heavy. But uh, I'm rendering something right now. It's going to take 22 more minutes. So we're just going to sit here for 22 minutes. We're basically doing the intro of the show. The plan is we're basically going to get the funny joke out of the way. I think it's funny. Um, and then we're gonna just go right into the game. So we're not really gonna miss any time, but we're just... The intro to the show is gonna be a little hosed up. You know what I could do while we're sitting here waiting? With all my buddies on the internet. Uh, where's the chat? I think this chat has been too small for too long. Let's get that bigger. Yeah. Wait, now I'm covering Arnold's face. Alright, we don't want to cover Arnold's face. We'll go just big enough to not cover his face. Bullshit. Yeah, it's not going to the archive. All right. When I was doing my button mashing last week, I was going like this, and I watched the archive, and like I could see the top of my hair. Now I don't know it's because if I have, or if it's because I have four lights pointing straight at me, but that makes my the top of my hair just disappear. Oh, I guess who's getting older? So I was like, all right, I got to try and change the way I do my hair. I didn't want to be this guy, but I have to comb it forward now. But I still part it. I just don't do the line. That's what's different. That's why Ratty Boy probably looks a little different tonight. What's going on with Ratty Boy? The problem is, when you put your headphones on, they make your hair go forward. And so I'm a hair go back kind of guy, so I've permanently made a new part in my hair that goes sideways. That's what's up, Simon. That's no good. Alright, 21 minutes apparently. TM Base getting here, buddy. We're just doing a pre-intro here. I didn't feel like just making you guys wait another 20 minutes. I rendered this one for 20 minutes, and it turned out looking awful. So, I don't want to... On early tonight? No, 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 no. We're, no, no, we're, we're on schedule, but uh, this is a pre-show show right now. Um, we're going to end the stream as soon as this render happens, and then we're going to wind it all back up so that in the archive on YouTube it looks just pristine. Mwah. All this for one stupid inside joke. It's going to be worth it. Probably not gonna be worth it. I can't pull it off. I don't know who the hell I think I am. I'm like running a. I'm trying to run a television show as one man, and I'm also the performer. Hey, did you get those graphics ready? No, I. I was. And I'm also uh, a family man at the same time. That's fine. Welcome in TM Base. Just listening to some slaying DX in the background. Uh, I've been working on so many chip tunes lately. I cannot wait to move on to the next step, non-chiptune stuff. Oh, man. It's just so much easier to write non-chiptunes. I was working on a chiptune last night where I was like, bing, 
bonk, bonk, and I wrote the whole rhythm. I'm like, sweet. And then I write, uh, the, you know, two square waves if you're writing Nintendo music. But I started writing the second square wave, and I was hitting all the same notes. And famously, if you guys have ever watched me make music, you can't hit the same note on both square wave channels. It ruins everything. Don't ask me why. You could hit two guitar players to hit the same note all the time. Sounds amazing. You guys ever hear Jim Hall and Pat Metheny go to town? Same note all the time. Sounds bubbly and delicious. Not with chiptunes. Sound brittle and gritty and tinny and buzzy. You don't want that. Uh, so I had to like re- I had to basically, instead of writing the melody I want, I had to write like three extra melodies just to get the one I wanted. So write another one. Like, oh, I like that better. Then remove the note from the other channel. And then end up writing the same melody. Have to remove that note. Do like back forth, back forth. I'm ping ponging everywhere. I hope you're all. I hope you're well. Also, TM base. Uh, let's see. Now oh, we're just hosing around. I think I may have fixed some of my uh, Final Fantasy 15 woes. I was doing some offline uh, tests, and I think what the problem was is I was saying, "Hey, game, if you want." Why don't you just go to 120 FPS? And so I think the game was like, well, we will, but we probably shouldn't. Yeah, we really shouldn't. So that was one I toggled back down to 60. 60's the cap. Don't go over 60. I don't need to see extra frames. It's frame chasers, damn it. He got me all worried about going extra on the frame chases. All right, I searched for Tom Selleck, and here I am. Ah, the system works. Shorty, the joke is all about Tom Selleck tonight. Ah, I had no time. After I built Baby Boy Rad as basketball net, which took about two and a half to three hours, probably. Uh, I was like, Jesus Christ, I gotta get in, wolf down some dinner, and then try and make some assets for my show. Lickety split. So, uh, the assets were created, and then I was, I hit render, went up, say, goodnight to baby boy rad. That was at like 7.55, like 40 minutes ago. Or an hour ago, sorry. Uh, and then came down and realized the render was going achingly slow. Uh, why? Um, so I had to re-render it, and that render was fricked. Because I tried to use my Twitter, my Twitter preset, because I'm like, fine, anything, just get it to render. That didn't work. So we're rendering it again. This time, I changed the whole project to be at 1080p. I think it was at 4K before, and it was, like, down-resing it for the render, which I think takes too long. I don't know. This computer should not take, uh, what did it say, an hour and a half for a minute-long video? No, 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 no. Yeah, the joke's all about Tom Selleck tonight, Shorty. Likes me some Tom Selleck. I mean, in general, that's a that's an all-time man right there. You tell me who's who's more of an all-time man than Tom Selleck? It's like Harrison Ford, Denzel Washington. They're all in the running. Tom Selleck, toss toss him up on the big board. Tom Selleck, and he was jacked too. I think that guy's like six five, jacked. Good for you, Tom. Mr. Baseball movies, fantastic. All right. Well, yeah, it was generating my balls off. Uh, it was funny. I was messaging Shorty last night going, Shorty, I'm trying to make real music, but all I want to do is make fricked up fake music. Ah. It was hard. I had to pull myself away from writing real music just to make uh, more attempts at generating uh, fake music. Mr. Baseball is great. Yeah, it's a delightful film, isn't it? Fish out of water big time. Like when he walks in and he doesn't know to take his shoes off or his saw, I don't know. He makes every social faux pas you can make as a as a honky tonk man in Japan. Don't you ever put the chopsticks straight in the rice. They'll deport your ass. Apparently, it's rude. Or, I don't know. I don't know why that is a faux pas, but it is. Uh, it's no quickly down under. You know, I gotta watch some more Tom Selleck. Maybe in the producer stream. Last night we watched Demon Seed. We actually had six of us in there. Hell yeah. Um, you know what I was thinking? I'll credit a shorty if you're watching. I'll credit Mrs. Rad fully for this. And I'm gonna have to do all these jokes again when the show starts everyone. But you know, we might as well talk about something while you guys are here. Um, why don't we start doing a sort of Big Fannies-esque style. You pick the movie we watch in the producer stream and everyone gets to pick their movie. But we draw the movie during the pop culture refresher segment at the start of the show, which I will try to do now, even if it's just one movie. Eh? So we'll draw it, and then it's like, your pick is up, buddy. We're going to watch it this Saturday. Boom. And now we can bring all the rascals in. I think people just want to watch movies. Damn real music in the way of funny music. It is, you know, and it's really, really, really hard to write funny music. I know. I've tried very hard uh, to write funny music several times. Chopstick straight up looks like uh, incense burning for the dead. 
Is that actually what it is? Wait, uh, I know in China they don't like the number four. So in in Vancouver, I guess a large Chinese population there, some buildings just don't have a fourth floor. They just skip it. Three, five. I don't know why we're putting up with this. Well, it sounds too much like dead. Come on. Knock on wood, you're fine. No, I won't live on the fourth floor. What if it's cheap? What if it was half price? Would you still live on the fourth floor? I bet you would. Instead, we're taking the number four off the building altogether. Like, four is now an offensive number. Eh. Is it... Is that only in English? Or is it also the same in Cantonese or Mandarin? Is it the same thing? Like, which, which language is the one where four sounds like dead? By the way, what about the word dead? No! What about I'm dead tired? <gasps> I don't know. Superstition's kind of goofy. Cross the board. All right, what do we got? We got 16 minutes left, everyone. It's fine. The render's going slow as hell. I gotta figure out why this machine is rendering slow as hell. This machine should not be rendering slow as hell. Uh, all right, what else we got? Uh, yeah, baby boy Rad got himself a basketball net today, and his grandparents are coming tomorrow, and we switched it up, so... Mrs. Rad's parents, or my, uh, parents, will now not stay in the room one, uh, foot away from where I'm streaming. Uh, they are now sleeping upstairs in our bed. They're getting our bed with our master bedroom. Mrs. Rad and I are just gonna take team out on a single in, uh, her office, which is upstairs. It's fine. So, the good news is, if I needed to stream while they're here, I can. We got some Raddy Boy originals going on right now. There we go. Ratty Boy Originals. I wrote this for Match On. This is unused. You can only hear this here. And Shorty, it wouldn't have been so bad making uh, real music. It's just the type of music I'm making. It's so mind-bogglingly... Uh, it's like so much extra work for so, so very little payoff. But it's necessary. You can't, you can't get away with it. I'm not doing that. Eh. What a rascally tune this is. Alright, let's get warmed up. If things are going choppy right now, it's because I'm rendering on the other screen. You know what, though? If you have a graphics card that is hot and heavy, wouldn't your video editing software need to use that graphics card to render something? Instead, it uses 100% of your CPU. That doesn't make any sense. I know I read on the line, online all the time. They say, no, no, that's really what's supposed to happen. That doesn't sound right. All right, see if we can get 116 again. So where we were last week, we got 118. Go. It's feeling good. It's not feeling bad. Oh, okay. It was bad, everyone. 105. Not so good. Pretty stinky. So we might as well uh, do a halftime show again tonight with Zelda 2. Ba -na -na. Hi. My name is Rad, and I like playing Adventure of Link, Zelda 2. If you like horsing around in games with hammers, this would be a good game for you, too. Nah, nah, nah. Ah! I actually watch uh, Reading Rainbow with Baby Boy Rad as part of our Sunday lesson, or uh, Friday lessons. I'm like, on Friday, buddy, we take it easy. I wheel that cart in, the TV on the big cart, and we watch a Reading Rainbow episode. Uh, their YouTube channel's been actually crushing it. They keep uploading new uh, videos on their YouTube channel. I'll tell you this, though. we I turned one on at random uh, this Friday, and it was all about death. It was all about, like, I thought maybe you guys overstepped your boundary here. You're not allowed to talk about death with these kids. Like, we've all lost someone. And then they interview, like, ten kids who have all lost their grandparents. And it's like, well, I don't think Baby Boy Rad was thinking about his grandparents being dead before. But now he probably is. Thank you, Reading Rainbow. Hey, kid, your grandparents gonna die! Huh? Yeah. All right. What else is up, everyone? Magnets. I don't know if you guys ever get a chance. Go get some magnets and play with them. Reminds you of elementary school. You can feel the magnetic field. Mozilla crash report. What the hell is Firefox crashing on me? Oh, God. That means I have to redo all of my social media. That's great. That's great. That's a real treat. Well, I'm going to hit... 
tell Mozilla Crash about this so they can fix it. No. Well, it's already gone. There's no, uh, there's no worrying about it now. It's gone. So, if you guys are wondering... Wait, that means it might crash right now. I might be crashed at this very moment because Restream is part of Mozilla Firefox. Can you guys see me? Well, we have to do it all anyways. Go back and do this again. Sounds about me. Uh, I designed a massive chipping line uh, to India. Are you still there, Red? Aha, uh -huh, it fricked up on me. You're joking! Oh, you rascal. Be king, you rascal. Alright, well, at least, I don't need, that's really strange, actually, I don't know why you guys could see me, because Restream was down, and Restream is what's sending me to Twitch, and YouTube. Eh, doesn't matter. It's also bad luck to wear a green hat in China. Ah, oh, traditions, am I right, everybody? What about this hat? Oh, you wear that hat in China, you're gonna get fricked up, they're just gonna beat your ass in the street. Hey! Get that festive Christmas hat off! It's also a phoneme for death, or whatever you said. Alright, well, you're definitely gonna have to be my chaperone, Simon, if we ever go to Asia of any kind. I don't wanna get beat up or deported. Or thrown in the clink. means your wife is cheating on you like, Hey, honey! I didn't think I'd ever have to do this. Opens up the drawer, pulls out the green hat. You brought this on yourself, honey. Let me just see if Restream is even still going. I'm, I'm as curious as anyone. I have no idea how we're going live anywhere. Ah, but it did frick up. Oh my god. It fricked up both of my social medias. Hate having to redo this stuff. It's fine. So Simon, you've been dinking around with some, uh, some AI-generated art. In the name of comedy, I gotta tell you, it's just full steam ahead at this point. I know people are all worried about stuff, but, uh, full steam ahead in the name of comedy. Uh, you can't put the genie back in the bottle, it's too fricked up. Face blue, wide eyes, jam that garage, get the hell in here, we got a YouTubester in our midst. I don't know currently how I'm actually going live to YouTube right now, jam dad. Uh, because my whole thing fricked up. I'm gonna have to hit stop and restart this whole stream in, what is it now? Ten minutes, because I've been rendering a video that I want at the very start of this in the archive. So this is just a frick around stream. A 20 minute long frick around stream. Hey, no one knows how to frick around better than I do. Welcome in jam dad garage. Hell yeah. An incredibly incredible insult to gift a green hat. That'll get you fricked. Alright, good to know. Thumbs up, he says. Alright, yeah, well just you're gonna have to hit F5 or refresh or something. You know, at at when I say so, but not a moment before. Alright, yeah, Simon, you've been dinking around. I'll uh, I'll send you some links on how to or at least how I figured out how to get uh, stable diffusion set up. The stable diffusion is like uh, all these services. You the man! You know what you the man! It's like all these services, but you can do it locally on your own machine. Pretty insane. But man, like on this on this computer, it's like redlining it. Uh, but the, it generates things very quickly. Uh, it's gotten way better than a lot. Yeah, it's gotten absolutely insane. So the thing now... Uh, okay, Mrs. Rat is vacuuming. Hey, get on that sea doo Veiled nomad, you rascal. Um, yeah, uh, the big thing, uh, that I've noticed, the big change, on its own, Simon, I think a lot of, like, Stable Diffusion will get you to do stuff. You'll see the very raw AI generations. You'll Dan, you wanna hose around, buddy? You'll find out the hard way! Alright. Uh, you'll find out, uh, it actually looks pretty 
crappy still. But there's all these extra tools that have been developed to increase the, the quality and the fidelity. So you can still get like fricked up faces and obviously fricked up hands. But there's like automated ways where it like stitches the face and the hand as like a separate generation. So it, it'll do it again automatically for you and then it blurs it together and it's like god dang. What I'm very interested in though is the music generations. And I'm an actual musician. I spent last night writing real music. This is one of mine by the way. And on the other screen generating stupid music uh, in the name of comedy for the start of this program. Which we're uh, seven minutes away from. As a tool. In the name of comedy, I don't see what the problem is. Uh, but also, if you were to just go and be like, generate, and then be like, that's good, put it up on the internet, sell it. Ha ha ha. No one, that would be cringy and weird, and it wouldn't be very good. And I don't know who would pay for that. Uh, all right, redline knack knacks. Redline those knack knacks, buddy. And no footy, no handies. Or this is a knack knack when you do this. I wrote this when I was 18. Ooh, ah, ooh, knack knack. All right, so don't you worry. We're getting those knack knacks underway. I wrote this the day I got fired from a and Restaurant. On my, like, gray... Uh... Web mic or webcam mic. <laughs> Rabbit, no pants. That's right. Eh. Not a single bit of pant to be seen. Hey, it's you know whatever you got to do to get to get the viewers. You know what I mean? Saddle up, jammed at. It's like that Renaissance or that marble statue. I don't know. The guy's sitting out. Balls are hanging out. That'll get you. That'll get you. That is not in the TOS. In the TOS, it specifically says no balls hanging out. We get Radland thighs for free? I know. I know. Well, I feel bad, Baklava, because uh, I'm rendering something in the background. It's going to take five more minutes. Then I'm actually literally going to end this stream and start over. So that in the archive, my funny, funny, funny joke will actually be the first thing everyone sees. Brinkmanship, brinkmanship is a dangerous game. Take your time. But then, the good news is, I'm doing most of my frick around intro right now. We're just gonna dive straight into the game. Like, after like 10 minutes, eh? You missed Demon Seed though, buddy. Holy, it was better than I remember. Crotch cams were just banned in the latest TOS. Well, is that only if they're... You can't ban the crotch cam unless it's about the crotch. Like, weren't there ladies that were like, Alright, ha ha ha. I got a camera underneath my glass chair. See me sitting in my bathing suit. <laughs> my crotch cam was necessary because I have to hold the controller right next to my uh, leg. And you're not going to be able to see that controller unless you see some crotch at the same time. Specifically here on Radland Channel. No crotch cams. Did you sing it in an abandoned factory while you danced? <laughs> to an A&W montage. If, if one were available to me, I definitely would have taken that option, yes. They'll find a loophole within 24 hours. Yeah, all these girls are being very creative. They're like, all right, this time, this time, uh, what was the thing they did recently? I only, I only see this from YouTube videos. I'm very careful not to hate watch anything. I don't much care for the, uh, the, the smuttening of Twitch. You know, there's other websites for that, but you know what, I'm, it's, I don't really care. My son doesn't look at it. I don't, he doesn't watch my stream even. I won't even let him watch my stream. That's how, like, so he should, he shouldn't be on Twitch anyways, but... As a platform for teenagers and stuff, I think it's a little odd, you know? I don't much care for it. But, I also am not going to say don't do that. So, as a creative individual myself, watching them creatively try and obfuscate all of Twitch's rules, what will they think of next? And then what? Twitch will be like, alright, they're doing close-ups of their forehead. And dudes are beating off to it. Oh, we're going to have to ban foreheads now. Damn! It's, it's it's almost like this. It doesn't matter what they're doing. There's gonna be dudes watching it. So it's like, what are you what are you gonna do? At a certain point, you might even have to go after the dudes. Hey, stop getting boners! Get that thing away! I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to do. They'll film it through a hole in the sheet. Yeah, very thin hole, like this big. Is that a nipple? Might be a nipple. 
Sweet. Store that in the memory banks for later. Interesting to see what they come up with next. I really didn't like the ear microphone licking. That was a that was a sad state of affairs. Like Twitch, come on. I honestly they should just have a toggle. Like an eyeball button. It's like, do you want to see fricked up stuff? Eyeball button. Leave it open. Or click the eyeball button off and then just see video games like most people think Twitch think of when they think of Twitch. Or, hey, we just got to go the other way. I'm going to start going to all the adult websites and just start streaming regular non-adult stuff. And then be like, hey, if you guys want to come over and watch the, the games, there's my other channel. Here's my link tree to all my stuff. That's kind of what they're doing, right? They're just siphoning out the viewers from over here and be like, go over there and check it out. You can actually see my nipple over there, not through a pinhole. Oh. Yeah, that's... I, all right. Instant Twitch ban. I'm sure there's a way around it. No! This is a scientifically proven product. Guaranteed uh, to enhance your enjoyment of your own nipples. Nipple hair crimpers. Radlands nipple hair crimpers. Check the merch store now. Alright. Insane. I will start streaming Street Rod on the hub. <laughs> I hate you to do that, Shorty. And everyone's in there like, Alright, so when's he getting naked? Never? Hey, you might, uh, Shorty, you might be able to snag a bunch of, like, gearheads over there, like, well, I was gonna touch my penis tonight, but you know what? I do want to learn about 1950s cars. Alright. I'll go see what Shorty's up to. But you, you can't show him the car, Shorty. Is that a car he's working on? Come to my Twitch to find out what the actual car is. <laughs> the next meta. Alright, 28 seconds. I hope it rendered properly, otherwise I have to do a bunch of troubleshooting tonight. It'll be, that'll for sure be it, if it hoses up. Man, the anticipation is killing me. All for this one joke. Alright, you need a sweet nipple hair crimping infomercial. But, uh, wait, there's more! I wrote this one too for an action platformer like Mario. This was my Banjo-Kazooie. Opening the video, we're testing the video, and then I will instruct you further on what to do, everyone. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, things are happening over here. We have a very Tom Selleck heavy episode tonight. All right, everyone, Tom Selleck, the the standard candle for how much chest hair is enough. Right, we're test I just gotta run through the video. It's only a minute long. Boom. There's the Radland logo. And then get the frick out of that Radland logo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, things are looking good. I think it's uh I think it's a lock, everyone. Selk is this month's Nolte. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty good at ah well, I'm pretty good at just finding something and burrowing so far into it that no one knows what's going on anymore. Started getting on the capital ship combat kick uh, between stars, Star Point Gemini two great games. I really miss Rebel Galaxy Baklava. I know those words, but I have no idea what you just said. All right, you need us. Well, we basically this is what I've basically been waiting for is the nipple hair crimping infomercial. That's what we're about to get. That's what we're in store for, everyone. So. Guys, give me five minutes. Hit that refresh button. Get your buns back here. We're getting in and out. Playing Final Fantasy 15, Final Fantasy 7, and possibly some Zelda 2 on an actual NES. Tonight, we gotta beat the damn green castle. Uh, games that are based on piloting capital ships with intense combat versus other cap ships and fighters. I don't even know what capital ship. I still don't know what you're saying. I have an idea what you're saying, but I don't technically know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? All right, everyone. Five minutes. Let's get back there. All right. Thanks for sticking around with me for this intro, this half an hour long frick around intro. We're going to try and get this funny, funny joke in the bank, do my social media lickety split, and get the hell out of here and play some games. All right? Next. Nah.